those of you who don't know and those of you who didn't hear. It is a very deep but true, hmm, heavy piece, um, and a Caucasian wrote it. So this is some stuff that happened in this, uh, and they're reading this stuff about what some white person wrote. And when I read it and stuff, I said, oh yeah, well, you know, they, we know how to think about us, but this stuff, when he was reading, I was in damn agreement. I'm like, this motherfucker, he is tight. <laughs> it says, blacks don't read. They are still our slaves. We can continue to reap and profit from blacks without the effect of physical slavery. Look at the current methods of containment that they use for themselves. Ignorance, greed, and selfishness. Their ignorance is the primary weapon of containment. A great man once said, if you want to keep anything from black people, put it in a book. So that's one of our quotes. But then again, we don't know where we got it from, but you know. He said, we now live in the information age. We have gained the opportunity to read any book on any subject through the effects of, uh, of their fight. They, excuse me, they have gained the opportunity to read any book on any subject through the, through the effects of their fight for freedom. Yet they refuse to read. That's what the Bible tells you. Blessed are those who read. It didn't say read the Bible. It says, blessed are those who read. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But so here, here, here too. Here too. Because someone has told you that you shouldn't look beyond a book that is given to you and you didn't make that choice. Mm -hmm. You don't do it. And you make an argument about it. That's savage. To have a people that say, I'm giving them a book and I don't want to look beyond a book because someone tells me not to look beyond a book. And then you make an argument about it. I'm talking about the Bible. Now I'm talking about the Quran because we've been, what, 60 years into that. You see what I'm saying? But at least 30 and 20 or even 10. My point here is, he who knows one book knows none. You see, now, uh, so, numerous books readily available at Borders, Barnes & Nobles, Amazon.com, not to mention their own black bookstores, mm -hmm. provide a solid blueprint to reach economic equality, which should have been their fight uh, all along. But few read constantly, if at all. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this alone, this alone is telling you that this is one of the major problems. How the hell are you going to know how to function, period, if you don't know no fucking information? Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And my point here is we cannot just go by the parameters for those who read to just feel comfortable with what someone has said for us. So the educated people, when they go up in the so-called Barnes and Noble, they got a certain thing that they're going to be reading mm -hmm. if they continue to read. Most of it's going to be for entertainment purposes. Mm -hmm. And for the educated person that says, well, you know, uh, that they don't read for entertainment person, they're only going to read based on the criteria, the parameters that are set, with, set, set within the boundaries of their career. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's not good. You already live in your career, motherfucker already giving you a check. <laughs> so why read more books on your career? You see what I'm saying? So we got a problem with the so-called educated because they're only going to read no, they ain't going to read on their damn career. They're going to only read on their career when that cracker says you need to be certified. You know how that shit is. <laughs> then you burn the midnight off. <laughs> so we don't need to hear this thing about, you know, black people. Because uh, I used to say that in, in, in my consciousness. Oh, you know, black people, we psychologically ruin. We don't do this and we don't do that. And then I've seen the white man go, I need you to do this to be certified. You've been here and shit. Now we want you to come here and program fish computers. Well, the fish computers haven't been invented yet. Well, no, we want you to do it anyway. The motherfuckers come up with the invention. We see this all the time, so we know we're capable of doing what the fuck we want to do. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. It's amazing. You know, when that white man say do it, we do it. It's like the CP time. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Then you be cussing. God damn it, I'm late. You know, so that's the, so the concept here is, the concept here is, again, we have to push the parameters. And we cannot say now that things are crazy. Because now, the things that you're saying are crazy, like the black people is going, oh man, they just really let me have it. 
You know, I just was amazed at how Christian we were and puritanical, Mennonites. Um, uh, I mean, all, you know, just basically uh, worse than 20th century Christianity. Somehow we regressed back into some pyramidal stage that we weren't a part of. We the Amish, Calvinists. You see what I'm saying? Someone has, 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 has switched the screws and have put us in a form of psychological slavery so you can't create. The blueprints are shut down because you're too fucking righteous. The goddamn piety is what's fucking you up. You see? Now, I'm not talking about us in here. But what I'm trying to say here is beyond 12 years old, why do you even have to focus on what's right or wrong? And even if you did wrong, hey, it's nature to do wrong. Look at the doggone animal kingdom. Look at nature itself. Oh, that's nature. Nature's divine. Except when it tear down your motherfucking house. <laughs> the flood come and tear down your house. But can you lock that up? Can you ask God to explain? I think that's supposed to be evil in my house. My TV is somewhere down the street. <laughs> oh, but that's nature. See what I'm saying? The whole concept here is the piety that we have gone into, which is behavioral modification based on a European sense of religion, which is not spirituality. Mm, mm, mm. That's not spirituality. That's behavioral. Um, that is a form of behavioral, ceremonial, and behavioral modification to a people who were a immigrant human. Mm, mm. Now, the whole religious world, all the pre preachers, they, the entire concept of Western religion that they are preaching is based on your behavior. And how can you get rewarded based on your behavior? And yet they have missed the whole blueprint of what spirituality is. It has nothing to do with behavior whatsoever. Give me some questions if anybody is unclear about this. <laughs> the concept. You, I mean, we're not, we're not here to, to, to uh, tease or torment. We're trying to get through some things here. If you don't understand what I'm saying, what I'm trying to tell you is what you have been taught with religion, even on the most loftiest heights of your ministers, is catechism. It's no more than an advanced form of Sunday school. So the whole spiritual apparatus doesn't even get to even come into Western religion. And when the spiritual apparatus comes into Western religion, then that becomes evil or the devil. You see what I'm saying? So we, so we got loads of things. You can take that cable button because with all the more, more channels you get, there's one thing you're going to find out. You get a 200 channels, but you're going to have at least a, a, a 50 fucking religious shows all speaking on the same damn thing. You see? Now, you can tell you this is a form of mind control because if this was a free country and the country said we must do something to... Make sure that the minds of a people who are a multicultural people to bridge the gap for all of the shows that come out in Christianity, we must give the people the alternatives. You see what I'm saying? Of other types of religion. Buddhism, um, advanced Judaism, African spirituality, African traditional religions, Zen philosophy, Hinduism, and I'm talking the modification. We ain't talking about the advanced metaphysical stuff. But through all of those and stuff, you will get a consortium to try to understand that it's not this mono, death, brain dead tunnel that you think is around you. The only thing you think of is some male God. You see? And sitting over you, waiting for you to not appease him so he can get jealous of you and kick you in the ass and send you to hell. Now, I asked this question last night to get to this because I want to say, because we, we, we need, you know, I'm quite sure that I'm preaching to the converted, so I, I, I don't see nobody raising their hand. But I want to put this out here about this concept. Anybody in here religious? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know. I mean, you know. 
I mean, even some of you black conscious people, you, you, I mean, you, you, you know, you got Rastafarians, they still believe in the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got the Islamic people, that is nothing but an extension of the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. An extension of the Old Testament and stuff like that. You know, that's all that is. You know what I'm saying? The point I'm trying to make here, we're still talking about the Judeo-Christian paradigm. We'll just look at this concept here about the hell concept. Now, in physics, fire burns. But what fire has to burn has to be some type of physical element. Right? right? right. Is that fair to say? Exactly. Now, it can be fire by itself. It don't have to be burning nothing. But in order for fire to burn, it has to be a physical element, right? It has to burn something physical, even when it comes to some gases. It's got to be something physical, right? Is that fair to say? So if you die and lose your physical body, how the fuck you gonna burn in hell? <laughs> you ever thought about that? How you gonna burn in hell when you lose your physical body? Is it fair to say? Huh? Now, you say that your soul is going to burn. No, your soul, if you have studied, the soul is a particle of light. And light and fire is one and the same. I don't care how light is produced, it's still the same origin. A soul is a particle of light. The word soul is a sun. The sons of God, S U N of God, S O N of God is the same thing. Depends on what, you know. Whether you in Kemet and you call it the Son of God, or whether you later on want to call it the S-O-N of God, it's the same thing. So a sun is fire. Our God is an all-consuming fire. It's a sun. So what can burn up in hell? Uh, the word hell comes from a word, comes from the word sheol, or sheol comes from the word shell. These are all the same words. And, she, uh, and the word shell, means husk and it means the physical body. So the word sheol comes from the word shell and also the word hell comes from the word shell and it just means the physical shell. So in actuality, when we live in hell, you are in hell because the physical body represents hell, an entrapment of the divine soul. So therefore, this is another word in itself, bearing witness in actuality that the physical body is that particular body. You live in hell. You see what I'm saying and all? Because you're going to find out when we go into the matrix that the brain is the matrix. That is the enemy. The physical brain. That's what he told him. Is this, is this a real chair? Is that the signals of your brain telling you that it's a real chair? And what is reality? You see what I'm saying? What is, what is, what is reality? But I want to get into some other science right now based on this Noah Arbor thing also too. The Noah Ark story, when you deal with this type of thing, was those brought now. They, they, and it's interesting that they, they're still bringing all these old ass stories back over like Cleopatra, Noah's Ark, and all of them got the same old stuff. You know, these white and eyes type Egyptians or whatever the deal is and stuff like that. But you know, they said that you know they, they've got past race. But when it comes to basic concepts of true history, they can't seem to put your ass back in it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they, they, they're past racism. Yeah, but when it comes to down advanced history and showing you as something greater than what you are. You see, it's almost like this particular story in this, uh, this particular story here. Um, I want to read this to you. Because, see, majority of education, the majority of education, still, you go, you, you know, you go to college and all, but basically, the premise of college and the educational structure is when they talk about the races of men, the... They all agree on the Darwin's theory, based on apes. Now remember, even in the book, the Nephilim book, they said that uh, on the Nephilim book, which you have to get out of a comic book store, which is a book that's put out by the advanced powers, they said that even in that, they said that, um, that uh, uh, the Charles Darwin was a part of the Illuminati secret society. And they hired him to put forth this theory of natural selection and that whole Darwin age shit and miscellaneous shit to cover up the fact that the black man was on the earth and ruled for billions of years before him. Because the question would be, well, if you got a damn Lucy, where the hell does white people come from? And you know, white people never tell you where they come from. You know, this is black people shit about the mutation, even when they, they kind of conservatize it or make it conservative about, you know, they, they mutated in the ice age. That's black theory. D.R. 
Charles Finch, other than the Yaku thing, which is another school. But the only people that ever dealt with the, with the white man's origin is doggone black people. White people just don't say shit. <laughs> Their whole thing is the Darwin thing. We all come from apes. You see? And that's the cover of the fact that if you, if you go a uh, history beyond what they call, they call it prehistory. They got it's prehistory. Pre their history. And if you say that, that means in actuality where the white people come from. So to cover up the whole black man's thing, they got to put up this whole ape shit with the, the, the Darwin's theory. But he was Darwin, and, and, and it's also mentioned in the book that, they, that, that he personally did that. And he was just a, a pawn, or not a pawn, he was actually an agent just working for the secret society, and they had him to write that. And that is the actual, that is literally the ground level of Western civilization as far as their education, you know, outside of religion. They did, if you, if you talk about science, the white man's science, they deal with the Darwin theory. You see what I'm saying? So you know, but you can tell this is a part of a secret society thing, because this is what Dar Charles Darwin said. At some future period, the civilized race of man will almost certainly uh, exterminate and replace the savage, savage races throughout the world. And who the hell they call them damn savage? <laughs> But us. You see what I'm saying? So here's a man that's, that's clearly talking about the same natural selection, and they're talking about the, the, the thing of natural selection. He's literally giving you a whole nother twist on this shit. That it is the divine right of white people that call themselves civilized to go around the world and literally exterminate the people. And this is a whole, what this is is another manifesto, another manifesto of the Illuminati. You see what I'm saying? And which is which is now what you got now is a much a greater sickness when it comes to black educated people. Because the key is it is it is it is paramount that you balance all what you're doing if you're gonna remain in education, that you balance all what you're doing off by sticking to your sciences. And sticking to your sciences is not just learning the history. We have science too. Hermeticism, Gnosticism, Neoplatonism, Zoroastrianism, Manichaeanism, Typhoonianism, you see what I'm saying? All this particular science, secular root, but you have to stick to your own sciences because otherwise you think that the white man is synonymous to technology. So now you got a whole group of black educators and stuff, right, that is literally walking around and they're disgusted with black people trying to find out why we don't have no coffee shops over here. Why we don't have it. Look at these white people shit. And you, you, you gotta admit, you go, this shit is late, all nice and shit. You go to Buckhead, it's a whole other energy. And we be like, why we don't have this shit? So my, but my point is, it can be a form of doggone, it can be a form of confusion and frustration if you don't stick to your own science. 